This message is brought to you by the Taxpayer Advocate Service. Your voice at the IRS. Hello, I'm Nina Olson, the National Taxpayer Advocate. We in the Taxpayer Advocate Service are bringing you a series of consumer tax tips to help you understand some important tax issues you may be facing. This series focuses on the issue of cancellation of debt. If you have lost your home to foreclosure, or had your credit card balances written off, or your car repossessed, you need to know about the tax consequences of cancellation of debt income. If you've received a Form 1099-C, Cancellation of Debt, in the mail, please don't ignore it and hope the problem will go away. The lender sends this form to you and the IRS, reporting the amount of canceled debt income. You may not have to pay taxes on some or all of the canceled debt, but you have to tell the IRS why your canceled debt income is not taxable, or else the IRS will treat it as taxable income. To ask the IRS to exclude this amount from your income, you need to complete Form 982, Reduction of Tax Attributes Due to Discharge of Indebtedness, and attach it to your return. The tax rules about cancellation of debt income are complicated, so to learn more about what steps to take, you need to either read up about it yourself or go to a qualified tax advisor. If you want to learn the rules yourself, look over IRS Publication 4681, Cancelled Debts, Foreclosures, Repossessions, and Abandonments, which you can find on the IRS website at www.irs.gov. This publication discusses the general rule requiring cancelled debt to be included in income and exceptions to the rule. It also provides comprehensive examples to help you complete Form 982. The instructions for Form 982 have easy-to-follow columns to help you determine what steps you need to take to complete the form depending on the type of debt that was cancelled. Remember, if you don't complete and attach Form 982 to your return, the IRS will treat your cancellation of debt income as taxable, and you will owe taxes on that amount. Again, you must file Form 982 with your return to claim the exclusion. Getting an exclusion is not automatic. You can get help by calling the IRS at 1-800-829-829. 1040 or by visiting one of the Taxpayer Assistance Centers located throughout the nation. The tax treatment of cancellation of debt income is very complex and you might also consider seeking professional help when faced with this issue. Volunteer income tax assistance or VITA sites can help with return preparation, including Form 982, if you had canceled debt because you lost your home to foreclosure. The IRS's Taxpayer Assistance Centers can help with return preparation for most other exceptions for cancellation of debt income. I hope this information helps, but if you have a tax problem that is causing financial difficulty or significant cost, or you have tried to resolve your issue through normal IRS channels and have gotten nowhere, or you believe an IRS system or procedure just isn't working as it should, you can come to the Taxpayer Advocate Service. We're independent within the IRS, so our people know the system and can help you navigate it. We will listen to your problem, help you understand what needs to be done to resolve it and stay with you every step of the way until your problem is resolved. We have at least one local taxpayer advocate in each state, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And you can call your local advocate whose number is in your phone book or you can call our toll-free case intake line at 1-877-ASK-TAS-1, A-S-K-T-A-S-1. You can also visit our website at www.irs.gov slash advocate. Thank you, and remember, the Taxpayer Advocate Service is your voice at the IRS.